You have been convicted of a crime you did not want to commit. A crime of the highest degree. You have been exiled from your brethren and left to rot with the lowest of the low. In this place, there is no redemption. You are the base denominator of all, only to be taken from your cell in the most extreme of circumstances. You have no friends, no family. This is your prison. This is your home. This is your fate. Welcome to Dice Jail. doll. Uh, it was haunted and possessed. It attempted to murder us after something calling itself the uh, Spooky Wisp, if I remember correctly. Yes. Uh, I tried to convince us to go into the room to get a thing. We killed the doll, learned that the Spooky Wisp was actually a horrifying troll critter. We're not going to say that to his face, but he does terrify us. Um, then we went down a staircase, uh, we went to the left, we found a slug thing, um, I mean, I guess it wasn't a slug thing, it was probably a flesh abomination, but we're gonna call it a slug thing, uh, we murdered it, went to the right, found a lab, found a doll that was in a condition that it could have a soul gem put in it, we put the soul gem in it. What may or may not have been the same person came through that doll, realized he was dead in a tank, and then uh, Nick set his spirit free. Does that cover everything? Pretty much. Um, his name was Borbo. His name was Borbo. Borbo. Yes, and uh, he led you to a secret door in the laboratory, which oh, is I about that. specifically where we last left off was... You all had just opened this secret door, leading downwards, further into the vaults. As this, as this thing opens, you know, Nyx, you feel, you still have that feeling of, uh, of some sort of spiritual favor upon you. Um, so don't forget to, to keep an eye on that if you want to, uh, want to use that at some point. You have a month in game. Um, Ooh, a month I'll in game? Damn. <laughs> um, I'll have it forever. I'll have it forever in real life. <laughs> um, what are y'all doing? Yes, going downstairs, yeah. All right. Uh, as you propose going down the stairs, Karak is going to put his hand up and say, uh, I apologize, but before we go any further, I feel as though I should, um, I should sit here in this corner and, um, pray for the, the next few hours. Well, that seems very normal. Carry on. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and then he, he does just that. He sits in the corner. He actually, he perches himself on the table, um, with all of the, uh, 
all of the notes about creating soulbound dolls. Right next to the goblin bot? Right next to the goblin corpse, yeah. That tracks for him. <laughs> I don't know why we would be surprised. <laughs> um, do any of you want to do anything before you go downstairs? I see some people who possibly could use healing. Yeah, some healing would be neat. I'm gonna try and treat my wounds. Okay. Um, during that period of ten minutes, uh, Nyx, would you want to heal yourself, or Remy, or just do something completely different? Remy is solidly bloodied. That is true. Then I will help. Um, all right. If he'd like yeah, I, I will <clears throat> take whatever stuff I need to heal myself. All right. So, Nyx and Petra, both of you roll your medicine checks, please. So 23 for me. 23 for you. All right. I ain't gonna cut it for me. Oh, no. What did you get? I rolled a three. I'm trying to see what missed. I got a 10. Oof. All right. Well, Petra, you're successful. You get that nice, lovely 2d8. And uh, Remy is less lucky. What? What? What do you? What do you mean? Remy does just doesn't get any healing. <laughs> it could be worse. This is true. It could be worse. I I hate that. I know exactly that. I I, I hate that it could in fact be worse. Yes. And then I have experienced the worse. <laughs> Right. You remember, you ranted about it a lot in your first couple of sessions. Oh, I I will. I, who says I have stopped? I just haven't had a reason to oh, continue. Oh, Jesus. I don't um, think we need that, but thank you. So, who's leading the charge downstairs? I will. No one else did, we already, did we already go downstairs? No. Um, we are downstairs from the upstairs building. Yes. Where the oh, spooky right. we are downstairs. But we're not. We didn't go down the stairs that we found in the downstairs portion. Does that make sense? I, I think so. <laughs> so, Nix, did you say you're going first? Yeah, I don't mind going first. Okay. No one else wants to. Oh, She's not afraid. Alright. Nix, Petra, Remy. You begin to descend the stairs. And go down and down, deeper and deeper, until you get to the bottom, and Petra's blue glowing torch illuminates a floor, seeming uh, a hallway with a floor seemingly covered in rubble. And Nyx, just past the end of these stairs, you can see another set of stairs leading up just across the hall. Okay. All right. Nyx, you keep going down. So we continue. All All right, Nyx. To the west, you see what looks to be a room full of fog. Oh. And to the right, er, the the east, sorry, you see a door. Fog or door, you guys? Sorry, it's a what or a door? Fog. Fog? Yes. Well, that sounds absolutely horrific. In this basement, there is fog? There's, yes. Th- why is there fog? I don't know. Let's find out. <laughs> no, I don't want to find out okay. why there's fog. Yeah, I'd um, rather figure out why the fog is there. If the door opens, we know the door's open. I don't know what's coming through fog. So, um, what's making the fog? As you trek down this hallway, just the floor covered in splintered wood. Nix, you approach this. Uh, this. What the fuck was that noise? Cloud of white mist. I put a hand through it just to make sure it's just oh, like normal God. fog, okay. or if it's like flesh-eating fog or something. <laughs> oh, we well, don't like flesh-eating. Acid. Fog. It um it doesn't 
it doesn't, um... It doesn't burn you or anything. That was a lot of words right, to stepping. say that, and I'm scared. I, Emma, I woke up like an hour ago. I'm okay. Fair play. EP. Fair play. I just wasn't um, sure if this was one of those moments where you're like, it doesn't burn you, but it does no. wiggle inside of your body and possess you. <laughs> okay. So, so as this you enter room the room, is filled with fog. Yes, it is, and as you. Like, like, this is very thick fog. It's very difficult to see. But you do uh, spot to the north and the south um, a couple of doors. Um, Nyx, as you step into the center of the room, you feel it's strange. It's almost as if the cloud of mist is solidifying around you. I need both Nyx and Petra to make reflex saves, please. Oh, Ooh. Christ. What did I say? I... Why? Every Why time I open my mouth, Cameron? I should just stop. Okay, that's a 19. A 19? 22. <laughs> nope. Nope. Hold on. 24. 24. All right. Well, Nyx, you managed to continue pushing through this, but Petra, this takes you a little bit more by surprise. You are immobilized as the fog congeals around you, and the source of this congealment becomes apparent in the corner of the room. It is a, just within the mist, it is a tentacled creature with one large eye. Just shoot in the eye. <laughs> well, let's see well, how, we how soon initiative. you get a chance to do that. It is time for initiative. See, if it wasn't currently ensnaring me in congealed fog, it looks kind of cute. Like a good, good little buddy. <laughs> no, no. It is evil <laughs> and I want to shoot it. If he I want to shoot it. Us. I'm going to bust a cap into its eyeball. Well, it's trying to murder us, so I understand. I'm just saying, in a non-murderous scenario, I'm it could be a cute little body. To paint <laughs> the wall in its brain. Good Where did Lord. I disagree with your doing that? Because it is clearly trying to murder us. Um. So, anyways, up first is oh oh jeez. Up first is Petra. Okay. Um. um so can I? You can attempt to escape if you would like. Okay, yes, please. Uh, so I'm assuming a reflex? That would be unarmed attack, uh, acrobatics, or athletics. Okay. Let's go also, for acrobatics. Say, acrobatics. Also I, suggest, also, I suggest moving out of the way because I am going to be shooting this thing. Wonderful. I'm currently immobilized, so we'll see <laughs> how that goes. <laughs> I got a 23. Stop. A 23. All right. You manage to break free. And just a reminder that part of escaping, um, part of escaping, it, uh, th when you take the escape action, it counts as an attack towards multiple attack penalty. Wonderful news. Uh, in that case, I shall move over here. Right. One action remaining. Um, and I'm going to cast Guidance on our favorite rat grandfather. Okie dokie. Yeah, he yeah, now has yeah. Guidance. That the brings guide. us to Monsieur Remy. Fucking love that. Um, I'm going to shoot it. All wait, right. Is in my... Wait, actually, hold on. Pause, pause, pause. First of all, bullet dancer. All right. Second of all, Nix uh, is, is not Nix in my way. Nix is not giving it cover currently. Is the pigeon? N no. Don't shoot okay. my pigeon, man. <laughs> yeah, I was good. <laughs> the pigeon. I was this close we'll to saying words. I'm indifferent to that result, but. <laughs> Please don't murder the pigeon. It would create a whole thing. Unless yes, the pigeon yes, is yes. directly targeted, it's highly unlikely that it's ever going to be in danger. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's hope that I don't get in that one. Um, <laughs> that's what I'm hearing right now. Um, all right, so I'm going to shoot it. Okay, go ahead and roll the hit. That is a 18 plus 7. That's a 25 to 25. Hit. That does hit. Go ahead and roll damage. Excellent. Actually, wait. I need you to make a flat check. 
flat check. Yep, roll just a flat d20, no modifiers. Okie dokie. I got a, I got a 12. A 12, okay. I should also note all of you are currently considered concealed. Um, all right, Remy, go ahead and roll damage for your shot. Okie dokie. <clears throat> Right, that's four. Four points of piercing damage. All right. As the bullet just slorps through the creature's flesh, you hear it in pain. Oh God, love that noise. <laughs> and I'm guessing that was part of a flurry of blows. Uh, yes. Yeah, so All right, so you reload and go ahead and take your third action. Um, if I step into the room officially, will I be, uh, will I have to do a, a reflex save? Yes. Okay, so I'm going to stay out here. Um, uh, I'm going to try to demoralize the, what's my, what's the Oh, I also I have? should mention that the, the area of mist is currently considered difficult terrain, meaning your movement speed is basically cut in half. Um, so I'm going to try to intimidate. Okay. Go ahead and how do you try to demoralize it? Oh yeah, demoralize. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to yell to it and I'm going to be like, Hey, you bitch boy, (laughs) I'm going to make you into calamari. (laughs) (laughs) All right. Go ahead and roll intimidation. This is really assuming he knows what calamari is. (laughs) Well, I'm, I'm sure he's been scarred by one of his cousins being turned into Calamari. Otherwise, we're about to find out. Okay, so that's a 13 plus intimidation modifier. Yes. Okay, so there's a 13 plus 7, so 20. 20. Okay. Uh, that is, unfortunately, not a success. Fuck. So he doesn't know what Calamari is. <laughs> <laughs> the creature appears not to understand you. Uh, Battery doesn't speak common. It is now immune to your attempts to demoralize it for the next ten minutes. Um, all right, then that brings us to the creature's turn. So it is going to. Okay, the mist is no longer congealed. Um. It is going to attempt to solidify mist again. So I need Nyx and Petra to make, uh, yeah, to make reflex saves, please. 14. 14. Okay. Actually, the mist has spread into the hallway. I also need Remy to make a reflex save. That's a 24 for me. Why not a reflex save? Why do I have to make a reflex save? Because the mist is spread into the hallway and it's congealing. Um, that's a 24. Okay, 24. I'm sorry, Nyx, what did you get again? 14. 14, and then Petra, you also got above a 20, right? Yeah, I got a 24. Okay, so Nyx, you are immobilized. Um, and the creature is then going to lash out at you with its tentacle um that is a that is a 33 to hit yeah my ac is a 20 so that hurts real bad i'm sure yep that would in fact be a critical hit so um nix you take Okay, that's not too bad. <laughs> um, you take 18 points of bludgeoning damage. Oh yeah, that's real good. <laughs> that's uh, and it is then going to um, use its final action to grab you with that tentacle. Um, so we don't like grab. <laughs> Yeah, grabbing, uh, it means that you are, in addition to being immobilized, you are also off guard. Um, 
Yeah. Okay. So, that brings us now to Nyx. Look at all those conditions. <laughs> Is it so a separate... We got a whole list. A I separate thing like... to get rid of each? Um, yes. Escaping the tentacle and escaping the mist would be separate things. My conditions list makes me look like I'm a fucking general with how many goddamn medals I have. (laughs) I would like to try to escape the tentacle. Okay. Then go ahead and make um, athletics, acrobatic, or unarmed strike. Your choice. Athletics or 22. 22. Yes. That is a success. You are no longer con- you are no longer grabbed by the tentacle. Um, but you are still um, congealed by the mist. Yes, and that just holds me in place. It doesn't have yes. any other ill effects. It looks like okay, that's correct. Fine. For now, correct. I want to try to exploit vulnerabilities. Okay, go ahead and make that esoteric lore check. Do you hear me? <laughs> Rolling poorly tonight. What did you get? I got a 10, I believe. Nope, 11. 11. Really yeah, you're not entirely clear on what this thing is. Um, exploit vulnerability. Um, but yeah, you, you still get the feeling that you can figure something out against it. So you can use your personal antithesis. All right. That works. Uh, And you have one action remaining. I'm just going to try to hit it. Okay, and that takes multiple attack penalty due to your escape attempt. Yes, yes. I forgot about that. Would my escape attempt take multiple attack penalty as well? Um. Since it's the second one and it counts, or no? I... Or is that just I think weird. Yeah, it has the attack trait, so it would take multiple attack penalty. Well, I'm just going to try to attack anyways because I won't be able okay. to move after I escape, so it's not going to do me much good. <laughs> it's an 18 to hit. And excuse me, an 18 unfortunately does not hit. I figured. That brings us around to the top of round two with Petra. Wonderful. Uh, okay. I'm gonna go... Well... Okay. I'm gonna start... I figure there's a 50-50 shot anything in Gauntlet is undead, so we're gonna try and disrupt undead and see (laughs) what happens. Okay. You cast your Disrupt Undead. The webbing lashes out over the creature, but it appears to do nothing. Good to know. Um, okay. In that case, I'm gonna take my dagger and throw that. Well, my throwing knife, I guess. Okay, go ahead and make a DC uh, flat check against the concealment as it is concealed by the mist. Okay, let's see how much of those likes me. It's an 18, so An 18, sure alright. Go ahead roll and we'll roll a hit. Oh, that's a 19. That's nice. I'm sure it doesn't... A 19, unfortunately, just barely yep. misses. That's what I thought. Alright, and you are now <clears throat> with one action remaining. No, I'm not. Disrupt Undead is two. Oh, right. Um, alright then. Remy, you're up. I'm just a rat with a lovely loaded gun, lovely loaded gun, lovely loaded gun. I'm just a rat with a lovely loaded gun, and that's the way it is. Okay, I have <laughs> rolled. Can we isolate that and just make that the theme song? I think so. I think we have to. Fuck anything that I... we're doing for actual marketing or plan. Like, that's it. That's all we need. <laughs> I've had that since Nyx's turn, and I've been like, oh my god, I'm either going to interrupt somebody with it, or I'm going to start my turn with it. And I, I, 
I, I, I loved it since I came up with it. Um, <laughs> what did you get to hit? Right. I got a 22. <laughs> a 22? That does, in fact, hit. Go ahead and roll oh damage. Oh, boy! I'm oh, wait, sorry. Rat. First, um, concealment check. Make a flat check against the concealment. Oh, Jesus, okay. Um, 17 plus whatever modifier. Yeah, you hit. You hit. Go ahead and roll damage. Okay, cool. Flat checks have no modifiers. Sweet. Uh, that's three. Three? 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 All right. Four, three! <laughs> So, uh, I'm guessing that was part of a flurry of blows, so your gun is now reloaded, and you yeah. have two actions remaining. You sounded like Scooby-Doo. <laughs> um, <laughs> okay, I'm gonna try to shoot again. Okay, go ahead and roll the hit with multiple attack penalties. That's, yeah, that's, that's with the maximum multiple attack penalty, right? Uh, yes. Okay, cool. So, let's hope I get an Yeah, that's a, that's a four total. Ooh, that does not hit. You have one action remaining. Reload! All right, you have zero actions remaining. That brings us to the creature, which is... Uh, the mist is no longer quite so thick. Um, it is going to now... Uh, it is going to... take one action to move uh no never mind no it won't uh it is going to make an attack against petra with its tentacle that is a 23 to hit well that'll do it all right then petra you take <clears throat> you take from that uh 16 points of bludgeoning damage uh it is then going to use um you uh then are grabbed with that tentacle uh, of course so i am the grab action uh and then it is going to use its final action to constrict. Petra, oh. you feel the tentacle begin to squeeze. I need you to make a fortitude save. Is that a manipulate? Um, no, it does not appear to have the manipulate trait. Each additional word of that made me sad. That's a 17. A 17, that is unfortunately a failure. So you are oh, going I to take, that. you take nine points of bludgeoning damage. All right, then. That brings us to Nyx. Okay, I'm going to attempt to attack it. All right. Good. Actually, okay. so if I try... Can you trip an octopus? <laughs> <laughs> um, you could certainly try. It's a fair question. I'm going to try to trip an octopus. Okay. Um, <laughs> so... Yeah, make an athletics check. <laughs> no, it's a 12. Oh. <laughs> yeah, no, that is not a success. That is, in fact, a critical failure, actually. Is it um, really? Jesus. Yes, it is. You uh, that's horrible news. <laughs> you lose <laughs> your really balance bad. and fall prone. <laughs> Dang, nabbit. I stand up. All right. You have one action remaining, then. I'm going to try to attack it with a different All right. dice. <laughs> Go ahead and roll the hit. No. Oh, no. It's a 17. Ooh, no. That unfortunately does not hit. All right. Yeah, no. This night's going really well for me, you guys. <laughs> that brings us around to the top of round three, Petra Palmer. Okay, what do I have to do to get the fuck out of this? <gasps> you can attempt to make an escape action. Wonderful, and I can do that by acrobatics, right? Athletics, acrobatics, unarmed strike. Excellent news. Okay. Uh, well, that's only a 15. 
Only a 15. That, unfortunately, is not a success. You are still grabbed. Um, does that stop me from grabbing a health potion off my belt? Um, I would say that would... That would have the manipulate trait, so I need you to... Um, I need you to make a flat check. Okay. That's a 12. A 12. That is a success. You are able to grab the potion. Wonderful. I would like to chug that now, please. Okay. Make a flat check. Oh. That's also a 12. All right. You successfully are able to get your hand around the tentacle and drink the potion. And that is Good all three of your actions. Me. Quick question. If yes. I messed up. Can What's I stand up? up if I'm immobilized? That would be a have a move trait, wouldn't it? Oh. Um That is a good question. Uh Hmm. It says I can't move out of the space, and then, but it also says if you're, that it moves You can't from. use... Yeah, so yeah, you actually would not have been able to stand up. Okay. Um, so uh, we I'm can... A, a yeah, after we finish up with Petra's healing, then um, we'll I'll give you that last action back. I rolled a seven for my healing. Right, then you have received seven points of healing. Nyx, go ahead and take that action. And what was this a check? Athletics? Is that what you said? Um, athletics, acrobatics, or unarmed strike. That's a 16. A 16 that is unfortunately not a success. You are still... Wait. Hold on. I'm sorry. You are not... Um... You are not currently immobilized. Okay, but I'm still prone because I don't have another... Um, no, no, no. You, you wouldn't have been immobilized in the first place. Um. Yeah, the the congealment ended. Oh, okay. So you were able to stand up then. Okay. <laughs> Sorry about Sorry. that. <laughs> That's my bad. Um. All right then. That brings us to Remy Raddington. Right. Okay. So check this out, Cameron. I want to re-record that song later because throughout the last round, I thought oh, about no. it some more, and I want to switch out. I want to switch out that's the way it is to and I've got cataracts. Great. Okay, we could do that later. <laughs> Get him in the studio. <laughs> now, that what do you want to do with your combat there. turn? Take your damn turn. <laughs> I will sing this song to it to demoralize it. No, uh, I'm going to shoot it. Of course not. Because okay. what else am I here to do? Um, that's a 17 plus a 7, so 24. 24, that does hit, but... Wait, did I get 17 last time? You did. Um, I do... God, I keep forgetting that I need you to make a flat check because it is concealed by the mist. I keep forgetting that. All right. Sorry. I got a 10. A 10. All right, your attack does hit. Go ahead and roll damage. It's a five. A five. Five points of damage. The creature shrieks out in pain once again. Have I done all the damage to this thing so far? Yes. Well, Are you serious? I've been a little grabbed by tentacles. <laughs> Stop. I'm fucking trying, man. <laughs> Try harder. <laughs> You're holding a torch, throw it at him. I don't have enough you know what? Actually, I'm going to do that. You're going to throw a torch at it? <laughs> yes, I'm going to throw a torch at it. You'd have to Okay. It? Okay. Um, so one action <laughs> to take out a torch and then another action to light it, assuming you have the supplies. Um, I mean, of course I have the supplies. I have the torch and I have the means to light the torch, which is... Do you have the means true. to light the torch? I've lit the torch in the past. Why would I not have the the the, the thing? Yes. Fuck it. We're saying you're able to create a spark with the flintlock on your musket. <laughs> All right. So one action to take the torch out. One action to light it. 
that is the end of your turn. What? You I can't to... throw it? <laughs> no, not on this turn. And also, no! your musket is now one-handed grip. So you're going to need to take an action well, next turn to put it back in two-handed grip. Um, all right, that brings us to the, uh, the creature, which is going to um, take one action to renew its grab on Petra. It is then going to make an attack against Nyx. Nyx, that is a... That is a 29 to hit. Yes. Jesus. Yes. All right. <gasps> Nyx, you take six points of bludgeoning damage. I'm out. Oof. All right, Nyx is now dying um it is it is not going to grab Nyx however and it is going to attempt to constrict Petra again so go ahead and make a fortitude save Petra god help me well he's not very happy with me because that's a 14 a 14 yeah that is unfortunately a failure so, Petra, you take 12 points of bludgeoning damage. Oh, boy. Okay. Mm -hmm. All okay. right. Things are not going very well right now. No, they're no. not. Petra, it's your turn. Oh, Jesus Christ. Um, okay. I, please, may I try and leave? Uh, sure. Make an attempt to escape. Athletics, acrobatics, unarmed strike. That's a 21. A 21, you say? Mm-hmm. Well, Emma, I regret oh, no. to inform you that is just barely a success. You are oh, no oh longer Christ. within the grasp <laughs> of the tentacle. Wonderful news. <laughs> um, cool. I'm going to pick up Nyx. Can I pick up Nyx from where I am? Uh, yeah. Wonderful. I'm picking up Nyx. All right, uh, let's add six bulk to your inventory. Sure. Sure thing. Uh, and then how I can get 15 feet away? Uh, we're, we're in difficult terrain? The terrain is no longer difficult because uh, the mist is not solidified currently. Oh, excellent news. We're getting the full 30 feet away. Uh, All right. We're, we're getting over here. Well, if it wouldn't do the thing where it, you know, spits on me for trying to do anything. Okay, we're going over there. Alright, you and bring Nyx over there. Excellent. Yeah. Um, Alright then. And then, are you dropping Nyx at the end of that movement? Oh no! You can drop as a free action. Free... No, no, I'm using my free action to say to Remy, everyone's dying, we gotta go. Well, you get one sentence for free, so you still have your free... You still can, you know, do whatever you want with the end of your turn. Are you still... Okay, sorry. Brain. I'm going to keep yep. holding her, because if we're fleeing, then leaving her body there doesn't Understood. Help. Took me a second. Sorry about that. <laughs> Remy, yep, you're no up. No problem. I, I yell back, Bet! And I, and I throw the torch. Okay, go ahead and... Um, yeah, go ahead and... Um, I guess make Wait, a strike with the torch. Do I get to keep the torch if I throw it? No. <laughs> you would have to go back. And I get put it the away. torch away. Are you fucking serious? <laughs> <laughs> I need the torch. Do you? Just throw it away. You are always in dark places with me, and I always have a torch. I don't understand. Fine, I'm throwing the fucking torch. Okay. You also Goodbye, have low light vision. Torch. It's not what? a magic torch! Just make a strike with the torch, <laughs> I damn it. a 22. A 22. Okay. That is a success. Go ahead and roll damage for the torch. How much damage do I get from the torch? 1d4 yeah, okay, gonna... plus 1 bludgeoning plus 1 fire. Yeah, I'm just having... I'm having... 5! Five! 5! Alright, it takes 5 points of fire damage as the torch... Woo! streaks into the mist um, 
yeah, the torch is now over there. No! <laughs> Goodbye, torch! You no longer um, have the torch. Can I still can I still shoot my gun, or do I have to change grip for well, that takes an action? You have to take you have to change grip as an action. Oh, what well, what did I just do? I don't I I know. Just my wounded by accident. Yeah, you did. It's okay. I'll fix sure. that. What do you want to do with your turn? Um. Well, you know what? I'm gonna change grip. And then take a pot shot. Okay. Taking a pot shot. And this does take multiple attack penalty. Don't forget that. Right. So I got an, I got an eighteen. I also need you to make the flat check against concealment from the mist. I apologize. I continue right. to forget that. I got a fifteen for the flat 15. check. Fifteen. All right. Yes. yes. Your attack does go through. So what did you get for your attack again? Eighteen. 18 total. That is unfortunately yes. not a successful attack. Um, Shit! But as that w as Flurry blows is one action, you can say that you reloaded. Um, and that is the Yay. end of your turn. Nyx, I need you to make a uh, lovely, 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 lovely DC 11 flat 18. check. 18! Your dying value decreases by 1, you are no longer dying, and you are now wounded 1. That brings us to the creature. Um, please not me, please not me, please not me, please not me. <laughs> who else is it going to go after? It moves, takes one action to move closer, um, and then it takes one action to swing a tentacle at Remy. Yay! Uh, that is a 25 to hit. Fuck you! Yes, it hits. All right. Uh, Remy, you take 12 points of bludgeoning damage. Oh, fuck off. And it is then going to use its final action to grab you. So you are now grabbed. Oh, double fuck off. <laughs> All right. Top of round five. Petra, you're up. Yeah, cool. I'm Throw gonna go. Sorry, what was that? Throw a dagger at it. I'm sorry. What do you think is happening? You are standing in the. I'm not gonna hit it. I'm gonna hit you. No, you won't. I'm also I'm carrying I'm, I'm a sure. dying teammate. I'm sure. <laughs> I'm not sure how you think the order of operations here goes. <laughs> I'm three eight. <laughs> what? I'm glad he's so proud of this. <laughs> I'm a short king. <laughs> okay, well I'm holding someone who's dying. <laughs> so like I'm gonna go up the stairs. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Ah. Oh god um, damn it. <laughs> begin, begin ascending the stairs. Yep. I read me. <laughs> and don't forget that you have, uh, you are encumbered, so you take a penal ten foot penalty to your speeds. Ah, in that case, I get to there. Okay, and Nyx is there with you. All right. Um. You have oh, two, I have actions, two remaining. actions remaining. I'm gonna cast. Um. What's the spell named? Uh, I'm going to cast Stabilize on Nyx. Nyx is already stable, so oh. no need. In that case, uh, I will set down Nyx. Okay. Nyx is now set down, potion. and you are no longer encumbered. Grabbing the healing potion. All right, that is all three of your actions. Yes. Cool, cool. That brings us now to Remy Raddington, who is currently grabbed by Misty Boy. <laughs> And also extremely mortal, and also abandoned in the dark. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Love this. What would you like to do? <laughs> okay, uh, I'm gonna try to get out of the get out of the grab. Okay, go ahead and make attack roll, unarmed strike, um, acrobatics or athletics, your choice. What? 
Unarmed strike, acrobatics, or athletics. That's how you escape. Okay. Um, so, here, let me roll. I got a 19 plus, uh, let me see. Unarmed strike gives me plus 7. You've uh, got it. You've... Also gives me plus 7, so I got a, I got a, I got a 26. 26. Okay. Um, yes, you are successful in escaping the grab. Yay, I flee. Okay. You move there, and then you move there. All right. That brings us to Nyx. You are unconscious, so you cannot take any actions. That brings us to the creature, uh, which is going to... Oh, God. It's going to chase after us. Yes. No! Take one action. You can no! feel the mist creeping up behind you. No! I don't want it to creep up behind me! Um... Let me actually check the range on the mist cloud real quick. Why? Okay. Um, Are the... It is no then the going to take another stride action to move right there. No! And then it is going to... It is then going to swing at Remy with its tentacle. No! <laughs> I knew I should have moved to the front! Remy, that is a 24 to hit. Oh, God Jesus. fucking damn it! I'm gonna be dead! Remy! You could make a reroll with a hero point. I'm gonna fucking use a hero point at this okay. kills me, so help me God. Well, are you using it now, or like, are you making me reroll, or are you using it later? I, 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 I don't know. Make a decision, because either well, I'm telling you how much damage I rolled, or... Which one should I do? I know if I make a free roll, it's just going to hit me again. How much health do you have? Five! <laughs> oh, boy. So, Remy, Help! you take 12 points of bludgeoning damage. Fuck me! You are now dying one. <laughs> okay, I'm going to prepare to carry two people. Oh, never mind. Dying two because you were wounded. Um, I was wounded. <laughs> but he is not grabbed, <laughs> mercifully. So, top of round six, Petra, you are the only conscious person. <laughs> Bet you uh, regret not throwing uh, that dagger, huh? What was throwing the dagger going to do? It's it was going to stop him! You could have hit him in the eye! Funny. I'm not going to have an argument with you about this creature is not bloody. It would not have stopped anything You're from not happening. having an argument with me. You're having an argument with the figment of your imagination because I'm on the ground dying. No, I'm having an argument with Jacob Perez, not with <laughs> Remy the Rat. Um, okay. <laughs> I don't suppose either of these wands of heal have, like, regenerated to the point where I can use them without, you know. Uh, I don't know. You haven't. Kept, I don't know if you've kept track of uh, whether or not they've been replenished. I don't know how much time has A passed. day. They, they replenish after a day. And I don't remember you if you used them. Did you say we couldn't use those anymore? You had the to Wand of Heal, no, no, no. The wand of heal you can. On my, oh, okay. I have them on my yes. spell list. So. Petra, Petra and Karak can use the Wands of Heal. It was the Wand okay. of Magic Missile that you can't use. Gotcha, um, gotcha. I was a little worried for a second. So, All right. Let me... Yeah, I, I don't know if you've... I don't know if you've used those today. I don't okay. think you have. So I think you have both of those. Okay. Um, just, you know, probably a good idea to keep track of of that. I know. I'm going to say you have one I of them. I don't know how to alter it so that it has the thing. You know what I mean? Um, yeah, you, you've got to click the edit button and change charges to one. Okay, okay, okay. So... I've set one of them to one, and then the other one is going to leave on zero. Um, okay. So. I feel like the second we do this, the one person who listens to our podcast is going to be like, aha, you actually did use them at this exact, but it doesn't matter because we don't no, remember you didn't, things. You didn't use it at all during the fight with Mr. Beak uh, or with oh, Blood Siphon, right. so. You're right. You're okay. Um, okay. I'm going to. So one action to take it out. Yep. Okay, let me look at the heal spell because it's. Oh. All right. I'm gonna use. Okay, 
I shit. Okay, um I'm gonna use two action. And I'm gonna use it on Remy. Okay, go ahead and roll one D eight. He gets eight points. Eight points Yay! plus an additional eight, so sixteen. Yay! So Remy, you are no longer dying, and you are now wounded too and conscious, prone Yay! on the floor in pain. Ah! Uh, so, um, Patra, that was your turn. That brings us to Nix is unconscious. Remy, it is your turn. You are prone on the floor. All right, I'm going to take an action to, to stand. Okay, you stand up. <clears throat> I'm going to take another action to shoot at the f- fucking octopus. Okay, uh, and also I just want to quickly check something, actually. Um, I want to really quickly check stances. Uh, so first of all, go ahead and roll that flat check. Cool. Uh, you are no longer in bullet dancer stance because you were knocked unconscious. Cool. All right, I got an 11 on that. 11. All right, go ahead and make your attack roll. I got a fucking 26. 26, that is, in fact, a hit. Go ahead and roll damage. Fucking shoot this thing right in the goddamn my ass. I don't know what the fucking that is. <laughs> Six. Let's Six go. points of damage. All right. Um. Yep, it squeals out in pain once again, and you have one action remaining. Run! All right, Remy, you book it up the stairs. Uh, Yeah, and I'm guessing you go all the way up the stairs with your movement. So Remy is no longer on the battlefield as we get to the creature. (laughs) Um, which how does it feel? To be abandoned. Which is going to... uh, It is going to... Solidify Mist. Oh, Jesus. Um, And uh, so Nyx needs to make a reflex save. I can make one while I'm unconscious? Yes. You take some heavy penalties to it, but... Reflex is 20. 20. Okay, you just barely succeed. You are not immobilized as the fog continues to congeal. Um, and, uh, yeah, that's all That's all it's going to do. So that brings us around to the top of round seven with Petra. Great. I'm going to pick up Nyx again, and then I'm going to get upstairs. Okay. You have now gone up the stairs (laughs) yeah you have now gone up the stairs Um, I'm closing the door (laughs) okay just to be Uh, clear like I want to be crystal fucking clear (laughs) that door is closing there is not a tentacled gentleman walking in behind me you close the, the secret door behind you and we are now out of initiative fuck that thing does she have um, battle medicine or treat wounds immunity? Uh, no, she does not. Cool. Then I'm gonna battle. No, I'm gonna treat wounds her because we have time. Okay. Go ahead and make that medicine check. That is an eighteen. An eighteen. That is a success. Go ahead and roll two d eight. All right, she gets nine points of healing. All right, Nyx, right. restored to nine hit points. Did we kill it? No. Oh. You nearly died. Remy nearly died. It's been a long day. I'm almost dead. You want me to try to help you out? 
You kind of can't at this current moment, so... You all look like you've had a great time. Oh yes, thanks for coming when we were screaming. Sorry, could not hear you. Busy praying. <laughs> Why do you sound like a fucking Muppet? <laughs> Actually, new, <laughs> new Hulk Cannon, is Muppet. a Muppet. <laughs> <laughs> um, if I you would like... If you would like, I could give you healing. Yes. Alright. Like. No, we enjoy having our organs spilled out on the okay. uh, pavement. I will give you all healing. Um, and mark it off so that Colby can see that the spell slot has been used. Uh, second level, font of heal. So that is... Each of you gets... Uh, ten. <laughs> ten points of healing. Yes. Yes. Thank you. You are Thanks, welcome. Mate. Should we go back for round two? Uh. I'm so fucking ready. I'm gonna end that thing. Dude, I think I dislocated all of my ribs. <laughs> That's not good. No, it's not good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad your medical expertise can figure that out. I want to shoot it. I want to shoot it in the eye. You are more than welcome to go back down and try and do that. But I don't want to hear a single word about me abandoning you. <laughs> you did do that! I did not do that. I said we have to leave. She's dying. And then I covered our backs! So what now? <laughs> okay. Is anyone else bloody or... I'm not bloody. I'm not anymore. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, um... I'll take my minor elixir of life and we'll see where I'm at. Okay. Why won't you open? 1d6 hit points. That's helpful. <sighs> well, that gave me two hit points. So! Alright, two hit points. I another... Okay, Minor and elixir. you also, Petra, as a result, have, um, uh, hold on, if I can find it, uh, elixir of life, uh, minor, you also get a bonus, a plus one bonus to saving throws against diseases and poisons for ten minutes, so you've got that, um, alright, sorry, Rachel, what were you saying? I'm going to give her another elixir of life, thanks for all saving me. Right. I shall take that as well. All right, then. Another 1d6. And that's another two points. <laughs> All right. Well, it's better than nothing. <laughs> okay. If you promise to not leave me there to <laughs> die, we can try and murder the thing. I won't leave you unless I'm dead. That's kind of more directed at, uh, Gramps. Ah. So I won't let him leave you unless you're dead. I will kill him <laughs> before I let him leave you. <laughs> <laughs> so you're going back down? I'm not taking the lead. I'll go first again. That worked out really well last time. <laughs> okay. All right. So, Wait, so Nick, you are going. What do you mean? What? Yay! So, so <laughs> Nyx, then who? Who's going after Nyx? I'll go after Nyx. Okay. Nyx, Remy, Petra. <laughs> Alrighty then. You all continue on back down <laughs> the, uh, back down the stairs. Um. Yep. <laughs> 
here you are. <laughs> Same place as before. <laughs> Is it at the base of the stairs? It is not. It looks like oh, Christ. You step down, and it's as if you weren't there. Well, other than, you know, a little bit of blood. Nyx is moving along on her own currently. No one else coming? Getting closer to the mist. You going, Gramps? Remy, are you following? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Next, you step closer, and you spot Remy's uh, snuffed-out torch in the corner of the room. I don't see <laughs> the thing. I would say, now that you know what you're looking for, uh -huh. you still can't see it. <laughs> I step. You step in. Can we see it? Well, now that you know what you're looking for, no. <laughs> it don't matter. <laughs> uh, almost immediately, once again, the mist begins to solidify. I need <clears throat> Nyx to make a... I need Nyx to make that fortitude save. Or reflex, whatever it is. Uh, I need you... Hey, either one's not good. Reflex, that's what it is. Reflex save. That's a 13. A 13. As the creature just... <sighs> appears in front of you, Nyx. Damn you are it. immobilized. <laughs> uh, and we are going straight back into... <laughs> ye old initiative order. So everyone go ahead and roll initiative. I don't know what Cam was anticipating was going to happen. Frankly, not I this. Uh, well, I know it's not this. I don't know what you were anticipating, <laughs> but I know it's not this. That brings us how, to the creature up first. I love how the creature goes first, and then for some reason, like, the order of reaction goes from back to front. That's just yeah. how it goes, I guess. The farthest to the closest to the creature. Nix is having a really bad night, y'all. She's not She's not smart, so if y'all don't talk her out of this, she's just gonna go right back. Do it again. The creature so. makes an attack against Nix. That is a 19 to hit. That misses. It misses. All right. Excellent. Excellent. That uh, is then... It is then going to make another smack attack against Nix. That, that one is also a 19. Oh no, it misses too. All right it's then. It's all confused about us coming Wait. back. Oh. Yep, 19, 19. Um and uh it is then going to as its final action um it is going to attempt to solidify mist around Remy. Remy, I need you to make a reflex save. Cameron, is there a chance that you could? Sorry, is there a chance you could put where the mist is on screen? It should be on screen. I, let's see, that's the best I can do. I tried to make it appear better, but because mist is a lighting effect, it's weird. Cool. See it moving in the big room. Helpful. Thank you. Yeah, so Remy, Remy, Remy frantically flails his arms, and you said reflex save, right? Yes. Okay, Remy, Remy frantically frail, flails his arms and gets a whopping 28. All right, then, you are not immobilized. Yay. And that is going to bring us to Petra. Okay, um... Oh, I'm not trying to move, I'm trying to measure. Okay, uh... Would you say my lovely companions are short enough that throwing a dagger would not immediately impale them? Sure! Wondrous, then we're going to do that. Alright, so one action to step forward. Yep. And then go ahead and make that attack roll. Oh, that's a natural one. Oh no. 
Um, so I will roll so that critical fumble, and God. don't forget that you are already you are already minus one dagger. Yeah, I you, know. Yes. All right. You have received crit card number thirty-one. That was a ranged attack. Your weapon's current hit points are reduced to its broken threshold. If already broken, the weapon takes 3d6 damage, ignoring hardness. So, your dagger, you throw it, and it just sails through the air, and you hear it crack on the floor. So that dagger is now broken. You know what? I've had worse news today. (laughs) (laughs) Um, you know, you know that's fair enough. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and cast guidance on Nyx. Okay. Uh, and that is the end of your turn. All right then. That brings us to Mr. Remy Rattington. Okie dokie. So, <clears throat> Ekhem, I'm going to load my gun, and I'm gonna get into your gun was already loaded. Dancer. Your gun was already loaded. We'll say you reloaded it while you were getting healed, so... Okay, so then I, I'm in Bullet Dancer. All right. Um, now I'm going to... I'm going to... Krakatoa this this boy. All right. I'm, I'm gonna... I'm First gonna of all... My little, yeah, I'm gonna make, do my, my save thing, which you yes. want me to do. Flat check? Yes. That. I got a 17. 17, all right. Go ahead and roll the hit. And on my hit, I got a 17 plus 7, 24. 24. Oh, damn, you I are getting a lot of 17s today. tonight. How? <laughs> damage. Fucking hell. Jacob Perez, the only person in our party with consistently good luck. I have no fucking clue, considering that it's me. Go ahead and roll that damage. Sure thing. I actually totally forgot to do that. <laughs> Four. No damage, just Four vibes. points of damage. <laughs> no damage, just vibes. <laughs> All right. Uh, and Remy, you have one action remaining. Okay, I am going to... Uh, I'm going to demoralize. Wait, hold on, never mind. You have two action. Wait, yep, sorry. Wait, hold on. You took your <laughs> first action to Bullet Dancer. One action yep. to Strike, yep, one... Yep, I can't math. Uh... All right. It's fine. Go can't... ahead and attempt to. Um, what do you say to attempt to demoralize it? Ha ha! You only have one eye. All right. Go ahead and make an intimidation check. <laughs> Cam sounds <laughs> real confident in that. <laughs> that was the dumbest shit that I could possibly come up with. Oh my god. Okay, that's a twelve plus. Plus seven, so nineteen. That is not a success. Fuck! It is now immune to demoralize for another ten minutes. No! I um, want to demoralize him. He's an idiot. Clearly Nix, not. You're up. He's just a dumb little boy. <laughs> He's just a little guy. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. I He's said that we could make a lovely group pet, and Remy went, yes. will we have to murder him? Nick, okay, I'm up. sorry. You want, you want to try to domesticate the deadly Miss Squid? No. <laughs> Nick, go for it. Just take your turn. Okay, take your turn. Just... Speak loudly so that you can get over the cackling rat man. <laughs> <laughs> exploit vulnerability is no longer up. Um, I'm actually checking that right now. I think it said I had to be holding my weapon or to st- or my implement. Um, <laughs> yeah. So yeah, you'll have to do another exploit vulnerability. I'm gonna try that first. All right. Great, but it's better than last time. It's a 15. A 15. That is. That is just not quite enough. You're still trying to figure out much about this thing. You do realize that this is a creature called a Mist Stalker. Ooh, it's got a cool thing. Um, but you don't you don't know anything about it, and the pigeon is not 
not communicating much else you think the pigeon might also be struggling to remember right now. Okay. Um, I'm going to try to attack it. All right. And you do Ooh, get your personal oh. antithesis. Yes. We What'd got you a good get? roll. That is <laughs> a 19 plus 8. That is... That is a hit. Go ahead and roll damage with your personal antithesis. <gasps> We did something to that, <laughs> <laughs> Blocked. Can't relate. 12 points of damage. 12 points of damage. Oh, yeah. Boyo is bloodied. Oh, fucking finally. <laughs> um, I'm just going to try to attack it because trying to trip it didn't work for me. So All right. I will just... I yeah, don't that expect didn't to hit it. Yeah, it did. <laughs> This is what I try. What happens when I try to do something different? Oh, that's still really good, though. That's a twenty. A twenty. That does hit. Just barely. Go ahead and roll damage. And that's another twelve points of damage. Hell yeah, Boyo is mortal. Woo! All right then. That brings us to the top of round two with the creature's turn. The mist gives way a little bit, so Nix, you are no longer immobilized. Um, and uh. Yeah, the creature is then going to uh, make a desperate swipe against Nyx with its uh, tentacle. That is a 25 to hit. That hits. Okay, so Nyx, you take from that 11 points of bludgeoning damage. It is then going to use its second action to grab you. And its third action to attempt to constrict you. So I need a fortitude save. Let's see if I applied that damage. Sorry, it's, it's being really slow. <laughs> That's okay. So yes, fortitude Thank save. Fortitude save. Ooh, that's a natural 24, 27. Ooh. All right, then. You manage to you manage to push against the tentacle as it tries to constrict you. You take no damage from the constrict, as that was a critical success. Um, that is the end of the of the Mist Stalker's turn. That brings us to Petra. Awesome. Fun times. Uh, I'm going to go... I'm going to try to go here and All right, tumble you're gonna, through. All right, go ahead and make that acrobatics check. That's a 26. A 26, you say. That is a success. So you now have panache. Awesome news. So I would like to try and spear the gentleman with my lovely rapier using my finisher. All right. Go ahead and roll the hit. Okay. Well, actually, you know what? I'm going to hero point this. I'm going to see if I can... I can okay. get it to hit. That's a 27. 27 does hit. Go ahead and roll damage. So that's four damage from that, and then my finisher is 2d6, which gives us another seven points of damage. So a total of 11? Total of 11. How do you want to do this? Uh, I would like to go through the back of its head and have my rapier exit out its eyeball. And then All right. push the eyeball so out. Impaled <laughs> on my I have rapier. done so much fucking damage. To this so thing. I deserve this kill. Petra, you run past Nyx and just do a do a roll through its tentacles, pop up and just straight through the back of its head. <laughs> the eye just plops out on the floor and it is dead. Nyx, you are no longer grabbed and the mist begins to dissipate. That is the end of combat. The Each of you gets 60 experience points. Six, Only zero. 60? Six, we zero. almost died for 60? Um, and I get a hero point for ending it, right? Yes. Let me deal that to you. Dope. Can we like, can we like cut it up so we can bring it back and eat it? Do you want to? Sure, you can work yes. it make calamari, I guess. I'll pull out my rusty saw. Oh boy. Oh, that's gonna that's gonna give everybody hepatitis. Let's not do that. 
<laughs> yeah, 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 hepatitis. No, Mortimer, I don't have hepatitis. Balance diet. Nope, that's not how that works. <laughs> if I save Petra. your goddamn lives in this fucking dungeon, and then you die of hepatitis, I'm not going to be happy. <laughs> Petra, would you? So you do spot on the floor right under you currently your broken throwing knife mm -hmm. uh, and then you also have your non-broken throwing knife on the floor which you may recover but yeah yes. I'm gonna recover that one all right so do you pick up the broken one too um I guess can you repair it like how much is it to repair it versus just buying a new one so um broken um e so you could repair it i it, i mean considering it's just a throwing knife it's probably worth just buying a new one i don't have yeah I, that was my thought I, I'm, I'm not gonna go through the whole rigmarole all right <laughs> all right so you only have one throwing knife currently yep. um all right then uh and so who's who's cutting it up and how All my stuff is rusty, so everything I've ever cut up has been rusty. I will so she's hand her, her my throwing off. knife. <laughs> I will literally I hand I her my throwing knife. All right. It's so tiny, though. Okay, we're not gonna get... I'm probably not gonna eat this thing anyway, but I refuse to let people die of foodborne illness from the rusty implements butchering it. You never killed me before, man. Look at Grandpa Rat. Do you think he could take hepatitis? <laughs> assuming that that's a bold claim, assuming I've never gone through anything worse. And with that, Petra, how are you feeling? It's been a long day. <laughs> Nix, how are you feeling? Pretty good now. She was having a good time earlier. And Remy, how are you feeling? Quite cheesy if I do say so myself. Lovely, very glad you.